Good morning. Today is December the 5th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to read from Luther, and our verse today is Luke 21, verse 34. Be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness, drunkenness and the worries of this life, and that, and that day catch you unexpectedly. And this is from one of Luther's sermons. God, in his great mercy, does not will that the day of judgment should suddenly overtake us, and so out of grace he honors us with a merciful warning. God causes the word to be preached to us, calls us to repentance, and offers us in Christ forgiveness of all our sins. God gives a sure promise that pain and guilt shall be abolished if we believe in the Son. God commands us to continue in our calling and to do our work well. If we obey God in doing so, God in no way grudges us food and drink, or that we are happy and of good cheer. For eat and drink we must if we are to live on this earth, but we must not be forgetful of God and the life to come. Is not this a good and holy God, that he looks on us with so fatherly a love? God ever speaks to us like a father to children, and God says, Dear children, repent. Believe in my Son whom I have sent to you. Be holy and obedient and faithful servants of your work. Then eat and drink and use the earthly goods which, with which I have blessed you. But take care that you use the world and its passing goods like one who is awaiting the last trumpet so that when it peals and when the last thunders resound, you are prepared and ready, walking in a holy way and with a godly spirit. If you live like that, you are in no danger. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for all the blessings of life, for all the things that you provide to us. Uh, food and clothing, home and family, daily work, all that we need from day to day. Help us to use... Uh, the resources here on this earth that you've given us, um, help us to use them as good stewards so that not only do we take care of them, but we preserve them for years to come. Help us to share what we have uh, with those in need, um, the sick, the hungry, the lonely, the lost. And help us be ready for that day when you will come again and for us to see that to be ready, it just means living a godly life, doing what you ask us to do now while we are still here. And so when that day comes, you'll find us taking care of one another, loving one another, and following you. Help us to listen to your word and follow it. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.